Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud at the Salam Palace in Jeddah. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality. He congratulated the Saudi King on the 92nd anniversary of Saudi Arabia's National Day and wished Saudi security, stability and further progress and prosperity under the leadership of King Salman. His Majesty conveyed the congratulations of the royal family, the government and people of Bahrain to the Saudi king, the royal family and the Saudi government and people on this national occasion. His Majesty and the Saudi king then discussed the bilateral deep-rooted brotherly relations and the cooperation and coordination in all fields that benefit both countries and the joint work in regard to current development and issues. His Majesty expressed pride in the depth of the Bahraini-Saudi relations and the mutual keenness to further enhance them in all fields. They expressed keenness to enhance the bilateral cooperation and the mutual coordination in all fields in order to benefit both countries and their peoples. His Majesty praised the vital role played by Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the Saudi King in consolidating security and stability as well as enhancing peace in the region and defending the interests of the nation and its causes. During the meeting, regional Arab and international developments were discussed in addition to exchanging views on regional issues of common concern. The Saudi king then held a lunch banquet in honor of His Majesty the King on the occasion of his visit. Earlier today, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Jeddah to meet with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to discuss the historical bilateral relations. His Majesty was welcomed upon arrival at King Abdul Aziz International Airport by the advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques, Governor of Mecca region, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid Al Faisal, and Minister of State, a member of the cabinet, His Royal Highness Prince Turki bin Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, an ambassador designated to Bahrain, Sheikh Ali bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa. Earlier today, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left the kingdom and headed to Jeddah in a visit to meet the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The two sides held talks on the close historical brotherly relations that bring together the two kingdoms in addition to discussing the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty was bidden farewell by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The historical relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia were characterized by the continuity of communication and strong historic brotherly relations between the leaderships and people of the two countries. More in this report. The Bahraini-Saudi relations continue to witness growth and consolidation thanks to the directives and interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Over the decades, the Bahraini-Saudi relations have formed a model of historical brotherhood and a growing strategic partnership until it reached an advanced level of coordination towards regional and international issues. The bilateral relations reached their highest levels of integration and interdependence during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. 
The bilateral relations also have been characterized by stable historical stances through which the Kingdom of Bahrain always affirms its pride and the honorable brotherly stances of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King and the Saudi King conducted a number of exchange visits, which reinforces the emphasis on the closeness and depth of the brotherly relations between the two countries. The process of joint bilateral cooperation is moving forward towards further development to enrich the achievements of joint work and maximize the advanced positions outcomes thanks to the royal directives of the leadership of the two kingdoms. These solid relations were built on principles of common goals in line with the two leadership's belief in unity of purpose and one destiny. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the EDB Board of Directors meeting to review the developments of the Economic Recovery Plan and the latest economic indicators. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to enhancing competitiveness and providing quality opportunities for citizens in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The board reviewed the economic recovery plan's progress and the kingdom's positive economic indicators. His Royal Highness commended Team Bahrain's determination to improve the kingdom's economy and the importance of economic diversification and connection with the global economy. His Royal Highness commended the EDB for attracting direct investments, creating opportunities for citizens and strengthening Bahrain's position as an investment destination and an attractive business center. He noted that Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 fosters cooperation between the public and private sectors. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of developing policies and legislation that supports private sector growth, given that it is a major driver of economic growth and that it is enhances development opportunities. He expressed pride in Team Bahrain and affirmed the importance of their responsibility to continue uh, the economic recovery plan's implementation and achieve economic sustainability and fiscal balance. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Ahmed bin Faisal al-Malki, presented the economic recovery plan's latest developments. The presentation showed that 17 of the 27 economic recovery plan programs are complete. This includes creating quality job opportunities to ensure citizens are the first choice in the labor market, facilitating commercial procedures and increasing their effectiveness. Implementing major development projects, developing promising sectors and achieving financial sustainability and economic stability by achieving fiscal balance by 2024. The second quarter of this year's financial statistics show that the economic recovery plan has contributed to economic growth as the total real GDP grew by 6.9%, the highest annual increase since 2011. The hotel and restaurants sector recorded the highest growth rate out of the non-oil sectors, followed by transportation and communications, manufacturing and trade. The implementation of the economic recovery plan has led to positive growth in the non-oil economic sectors. The chief executive of the EDB, Khalid Ibrahim Ahmedan, outlined the EDB's success in attracting investments with the volume of inward investments up to 2021, totaling 33.5 billion US dollars, equivalent to 86% of the kingdom's GDP, exceeding the global average of 47%. Hamidan confirmed the EDB successfully attracted 921 million US dollars in direct investments from 66 projects over 90% of the 1 billion US dollar target set by the board of directors. These investments will contribute to the creation of 4,715 jobs over the next three years in ICT, digital economy, financial services, healthcare, education, industry, logistics and tourism, as well as other promising sectors. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized the ceremony organized by Al Bilad newspaper to announce the winner of Al Bilad Award for Corporate Social Responsibility 2022.
In the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, as well as a number of ministers, ambassadors, and representatives of the legislative authority, business sector, and civil society organizations. The Deputy Premier affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the follow up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, takes pride in its successful achievements of the Millennium Development Goals and the steps it has taken towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. He asserted the government's keenness on connecting its programs with the SDGs, which are in line with the endeavors that ensure the continuity of development that supports all international efforts and initiatives that serve the achievements of the SDGs in the world. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed appreciation to El Bilad newspaper and the awards higher committee for their initiative to reflect the prominent social role of the private sector in supporting development efforts in the kingdom and in contributing to raising awareness on corporate social responsibility. He noted that social responsibility is a main element of activities of companies that aim to achieve sustainability standards. The chairman of the board of directors of Al Bilad newspaper, Abdel Nabi Shuala, emphasized that the award stems from the belief in the role of media in serving community issues. The deputy premier then honored the representatives of the winning company, GPIC. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King, the Bahrain Free Labor Unions Federation organized a celebration on the occasion of International Labor Day, coinciding with the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the Federation and the 20th anniversary of the promulgation of the Trade Unions Law. More in this report. Ten years of hard work, support for causes and defense of workers' rights and gains are celebrated by the Bahrain Free Labor Unions Federation to culminate in all the efforts exerted over the past years. In a record period of time, the Free Labor Union succeeded in making numerous achievements at the Arab and international levels, the most prominent of which is the equivalent shift of union work in Bahrain, becoming an official representative of Bahraini workers in various sectors. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Ahmedan, affirmed the great achievements made by union organizations in the Kingdom of Bahrain during 10 years of union work. The 10th year of the establishment of the Free Labor Union exceeded more than 20 unions, which reflects its success in supporting employment in various fields. Within the framework of the participation of the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan Naimi, in the meetings of the Council of Arab Ministers of Information in Cairo, the minister held a number of visits to the official and private Egyptian media institutions. More in this report. Under the framework of the strong historic relations that bind the Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt, the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan al naimi participated in the meetings of the Council of Arab Ministers of Information in Cairo, following the invitation of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. During the visit, the bilateral relations and the strong ties between the two countries were highlighted, and these strong brotherly relations are thanks to the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Egyptian President to further enhance the Bahraini-Egyptian relations. The Minister of Information held a number of visits to the official and private Egyptian media institutions. The minister visited Egypt Media Production City, where he highlighted the importance of investing in the media to support national priorities, mainly the empowerment of national cadres and bolstering cultural and historical identity. The minister toured different facilities, including private TV channels, open filming locations, training centers, and the Center for the Restoration of Film Heritage. The minister paid a visit to the Middle East News Agency, where he commended the key role of MENA in assuming its professional duties competitively and responsibly. Dr. Naimi also visited Egypt's radio and television building, 
where he stressed that this visit was a good opportunity to build on and develop the deep-rooted media relations between both countries. The Minister of Information affirmed that the media sector in Egypt is considered a pioneering model and presented numerous success stories in achieving the noble goals adopted by the national media.